Frog's Point honey, let's cook! To make authentic pesto, you need fresh basil, extra virgin olive oil, salt, Parmesan cheese, garlic, and pine nuts, which I couldn't find anywhere, so I'm going to use pistachios and they're going to be awesome. And as always, you can find the ingredients with exact amounts in the description. Now the most common way to do this is just throw everything in the blender, whir it all up, and you're done. However, authentic pesto is chopped, and this gives you an excuse to show you how to chiffonade. If you take your basil leaves, and you stack them, and then you roll them, you can then slice and create these fun little ribbons. Once you've got those ribbons, that's your chiffonade, you can just go ahead and give them a chop, and they come out nice and even. Put your basil in a bowl, then peel and chop your garlic. Use a little bit of salt to create an abrasive so that you can grind up some of the garlic into a paste, but not all of it. You still want a few little chunks. Add it to the bowl, then chop up your nuts. Don't go too fine here. Having a little bit of variation in texture is part of the charm of doing things this way rather than in a food processor. Add the nuts and cheese to the bowl, then gently whisk in some olive oil until it's the texture you want it. That's it, you just made homemade pesto. Toss it with your favorite pasta and you are good to go. Let's eat! Thank you for watching everybody. Please click like down below and don't forget to subscribe.